In this video, let's go over the basic concept of Pro-AV. Like in my earlier video entitled AV and Pro-AV Explained, I went over the definitions and gave examples for both AV and Pro-AV. But now, I would like to go more in depth into the concept and define key factors that define these types of systems. One of the first things we learn about in Pro-AV are inputs and outputs. Then we go into the types of inputs and outputs. For this video, let's focus on audio and video inputs and outputs. Control and processing are part of Pro-AV as well, but I'll try to keep it as simple as possible in this video. There are many types of AV systems in the commercial world. Some are analog, most are a combination of analog and digital, and a small number of AV systems are fully digital. I would like to point out that some of these digital systems are able to receive an analog input signal, translate it into digital packets, and reconvert it into the original analog message then sends it to the destination analog device. Let's go over digital systems. First, let's identify what makes a system analog and what makes a system digital. An analog system is a system in which an electrical value such as voltage or current represents something in the physical world. A digital system is designating or of data images, sounds, etc. that are stored, transmitted, manipulated, or reproduced by a process using groups of electronic bits represented as one or zero. Let's identify the three main components in a simple AV system. The source device is where the main audio or video signal is leaving the device and entering the AV system. The processor and router processes the source signal and routes the process signal to the designated destination. And the output device is where the routed signal is heard, viewed, and experienced. Let's describe three key points of an audio system. As source devices, we have a mic, an audio receiver, and a codec, which are usually used for voice calls in conference rooms. As the processor and router, we have a DSP. Now DSP stands for Digital Signal Processor, and in this case, a Digital Sound Processor, which is a microprocessor that's dedicated to receiving the signal from the source, processing it, and then routing it to an amp or output device. In Pro-AV, an audio DSP is usually referred to as just DSP. It's usually the preferred option for voice and program audio processing. In this diagram, the DSP handles the audio logic, processing and routing through a program or a touch panel. The output devices are a sub, a speaker, and an assisted listening headset. Let's describe three key points of a video system. As source devices, we have a camera, a computer, and a video codec, which are usually used for both voice and video calls in conference rooms. As the processor and router, we have the Crestron AV4 control processor and the Crestron DMMD 16x16 audio video matrix router. Now a control processor is the core of the operation, linking different hardware and software components together and ensuring they operate within program parameters. An audio video matrix router is a matrix of inputs and outputs where we can select the source audio and video, process it, and send it to the audio video output device desired. Smaller control processors and routers are combined as one, where larger units such as those used in divisible multiple purpose rooms requiring many more inputs and outputs have the processor independent of the router. In this diagram, we're using the audio video matrix router for video purposes only. The video matrix router is receiving, processing, and routing video to the output video devices. A projector, a display, and a 3x3 video wall. Now this next diagram demonstrates how one simple audio system and one simple video system can work as one unified system to provide a great AV experience. How they remain in sync and in communication is a topic I'll cover in another video. Guys, in the future episodes, we'll cover the different types of cable infrastructures and different communication methods used in Pro-AV. Like, comment, subscribe, and don't forget to click on the notification bell. Till next time.